Welcome, Bronco Nation, to my weekly Boise State alumni in the NFL stat recap. This is for Week 16. Starting off, we have Minnesota Vikings running back Alexander Madison. Uh, unfortunately, he just came off of that appendix, appendix surgery that was successful. And just as he returned to the playing field last week, he had an uh, he seemed to suffer concussion during that game, and he is now going through the concussion protocols. He wasn't able to get off for this game this week. Hopefully, he'll be able to get off in time for next week. Uh, but the uh, Vikings uh, obviously didn't have him out there in the backfield. They had to end up subbing instead. So hopefully, he'll be back out in the backfield next week filling that second string role which he's done so well uh, it'll be really great to have him get some momentum coming in here down the final stretch of the season of course one final week of regular season football left before we get into the postseason here uh, green bay packers uh, billy wind is still on injured reserve jacksonville jaguars Kamale correa is no longer on the team as we talked about last week dallas cowboys uh line wide receiver cedric wilson re uh, recorded no stats after a pass completion last week uh, but no stats this this week. Tyrone Crawford had two tackles, so continuing his stat performance from last week, we also had two tackles in the week before that where he had four. Uh, defensive end Tyrone, uh, sorry, defensive end Demarcus Lawrence, uh, four tackles, so again, steady performance. He also had four tackles last, sorry, had five tackles last week, so still steady performance. Of course, Dallas was able to get the big win against the Eagles, which keeps them in the potential playoff hunt. Uh, of course, with the NFC East division being as weak as it is this year, uh, they are in the hunt for sure. They definitely have a chance. They definitely have a potential path to the playoffs, depending if the uh, Washington ends up losing next week and and Dallas wins next week, then they would probably then they would be into the playoffs in that case, as Washington took the loss this week. So linebacker uh, Leighton Vanderesh, he is out, is out this week. He suffered a high ankle sprain last week. Thankfully, that's all it was, only a high, high ankle sprain. There was a lot of potential thought that it might be something more than that, especially the way he was talking it himself. He said it felt like it could have been more. Uh, but luckily, it was only a sprain. He is expected to miss a few weeks here, so potentially missing out the rest of the regular season. So, we, so let's hope that Dallas is able to make it into the postseason here so we can see some more out of this incredible linebacker. I uh, was just doing such a great job after the fantastic rookie season last year. Safety Darian Thompson continued another strong performance with four tackles, again subbing in that safety position after injuries that Dallas has fit, suffered. Eagles wide receiver John Hightower was again a healthy scratch. He did not uh, suit up for the team this week. Tennessee Titans running back Jeremy McNichols, uh, only one reception for six yards, but that is good to see him getting still involved in the offense, seeing as he is no longer the primary second string back. Uh, Derek D. Evans is the... Uh, and I've forgotten the first name, so I'm just going to say D uh, because that's all I wrote down here. So D Evans uh, is the primary second string back there, of course, behind Derrick Henry. With He had one carry for three yards, and that's it. So they are really pushing and, and going all in on Derrick Henry right now. They don't really have, in their eyes, a suitable uh, workhorse back to follow him and to kind of take the moment to take the carries off. And why would you? Derrick Henry's doing such a good job right now, uh, looking like he's going to be closing in potentially on that another rushing season title. So no, great job by Derrick Henry this season, so why would you try to take it off of him? Uh, but Jeremy McNichols still, even though he's not that primary back, he is getting involved in the in the offense, which is great to see. As in the past, the Titans have really kind of pushed Jeremy McNichols down on the depth chart. Of course, he only jumped onto the active roster this season, so it is great to see Jeremy McNichols continue to be an active part on that 53-man roster there. Atlanta Falcons defensive end Durant Miles, no stats recorded. Denver Cor Broncos correct Brett Rippon, no stats recorded, obviously. Uh, San Francisco 49ers, Jamar Taylor remains on injured reserve, and he will be on that for the rest of the season uh, with that ACL tear. Arizona Cardinals. Now, Arizona, Arizona Cardinals linebacker Tanner Vallejo is our Boise State alum of the week. Perhaps the, not the most statistically impressive performance, but he did have three tackles this week, which is his uh, ties his season high, which he also had three tackles versus Seattle back in October, and is the first time that he's recorded stats in a month since playing the Patriots back on in November. So, great job to see him back out there. I mean, he's been out there, but uh, he recorded three tackles all on special teams I believe uh, so great job to see him becoming getting on that stat line and proving again that he is a beneficial part of that team even if it's in a more minor role it is great to see a Boy State Bronco having success uh, especially one as great as Tanner Vallejo he always had a great attitude when he's at Boise and he always plays with tenacity and I think that's really what keeps him on these teams in addition to his natural skill level but I mean he's he's the type of playmaker or the type of teammate that you want to have out there 
Uh, offensive tackle, as far as our line goes, offensive tackle is for Cleveland for the Vikings. Offensive tackle, Charles Leonard Jr. for the Bears. And set of Matt Paradis for the Panthers. We're all active on their uh, respective rosters. And that concludes our wrap-up. Really short videos. Uh, if you're not used to these videos, it's the first time you've seen this one. I know that I had a much larger hit count. Uh, on my last video, which I was very excited about. Uh, but I had, just had a much larger hit account in my last video. So if you're not used to these videos, this is pretty much all I do for these ones. Uh, I just kind of go through, whenever I was looking, uh, going through and finding Boise State stats, it was always so hard uh, prior to me making these videos. It was so always so hard to be able to find uh, which Boise State players were having success in one contite spot, so that, uh, one uh, central spot. So that's what I attempt to do with these videos. Sorry, my air conditioning just kicked in. Again, this is not my usual videoing place. I'm home on vacation or home during the Christmas break here. Um, but so uh, that's what the point of these videos. Short to the point, just read out the stat performances and talk a little bit about each player if they had any significant improvements or significant plays overall. So that's the stat summary for this week. Uh, to keep an eye out. I am going to be getting a video, probably a part, series part. I'm going to try and keep each series about 15 minutes. I'm going to review the Boise State season as a whole and what we are looking forward to in 2021. I'm going to try and wait till after we have a head coach announced uh, and after the bowl game. So wait for this, probably coming out in January sometime, and I'm going to try and break down the offense, defense, special teams, team overall, just kind of re opponent preview, pretend. I mean, it's going to really kind of be a part series where I'm just going to break in and go real in depth. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you like these videos, which talk about the Boise State players, of course. But my videos overall, and I am going to attempt to keep content coming to you in the off season uh, before we get back into the heavy workload again with the 2021 season. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, hashtag cancel the, C cancel the CFP uh, committee and go big blue.